Hi YouTube, Tim Unkert from UnkertEducation.com here. In this video, we're going to install the Vivaldi browser on a Chromebook. But first, if you like videos like this, where I show you how to install and set up software, make sure to subscribe. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get started. The first thing we need to do is set up the Linux development environment. So I'm going to go over to my launcher here and click on the launcher and then I'm going to search for my settings. Once I find the, the link to my settings, I'll click on that and open up my settings. And on the left here, I have a bunch of tabs. I'm going to go down to the advanced tab and click to expand that. Once that expands, I'll see this tab developers. I'll click on that. And then I have this Linux development environment here. I'll click turn on and then next. And it's going to give me a username based off my email. I think this is the only time you can change your username, so if you really don't like it, you might want to change it now. The disk size can be changed at any later point, so I'm just going to keep that one as is, and my username is fine. I'm going to keep that as is, and I'm just going to click install, and I'm going to let that go ahead and install. That'll take a few minutes. I'll come on back once that's done. Okay, once the Linux development environment is installed, a terminal will pop up. I can close the settings now, and I'm going to maximize this terminal so you can see what I'm doing and increase the font size. I'm going to make sure everything is up to date by typing sudo apt update and then two ampersands for and and then sudo apt upgrade with a dash y flag so I don't have to answer yes to the additional space. I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to let that run. That'll take a few minutes so I'll come on back once that's done. Once that's run through and everything is up to date, I can close out the terminal now um, I usually pin it to my taskbar, but you don't have to. Uh, I'm going to open up a browser now, and I'm going to search for Vivaldi. And I'm going to search for Vivaldi browser, hit enter, and I'll see this Vivaldi.com will come up. I'm going to click on that. Now, if it, we just go and download Vivaldi, this is going to download the .exe file. That actually won't work on a Chromebook. So we got to go down to the little penguin here, which is for Linux and click on that. And then we get this drop down menu here. And what I can do is click on the side here for the drop down menu. I have an AMD uh, slash Intel based Chromebook. So I'm going to pick this first Linux Deb 64 bit file. I don't have an ARM based Chromebook, so I can't necessarily speak to this, but I would assume that you would download the ARM. But again, I don't have one, so I haven't been able to test that out. So uh, that's on you if you want to try it with an ARM based Chromebook. I'm going to click on the Linux deb file and download that. Okay, once that's downloaded, I'm going to uh, just click show in folder here. It's going to be in my downloads folder and we see this amd64.deb file. I'm going to right click and click install with Linux. Okay, and it's going to go out and fetch some data. I'm going to click install and okay, and I'm going to go let that run. Okay, once that installs, I can launch it from here, or if that message goes away, I can just go to my launcher here, and I can scroll down and search for Vivaldi. Uh, in this case, it's in my Linux app. Sometimes you'll have to search for it. This isn't, you know, 100%. I'm going to just uh, pin it to the shelf, assuming that I would use this browser a lot, and then click to open. Okay, here's the Vivaldi browser. It's installed on your Chromebook and you can begin configuring the browser to your personal likings. If this video helped you out, if, it, if you found it useful, could you please give it a like as that will help out the video a lot. Thank you.